You may not realize just how old some of the world's oldest amusement parks are, and today we're going to count down the 10 oldest parks in the world. Before beginning though, the question needs to be asked, what qualifies as an amusement park and what was eligible for this list? Here's how I broke it down. If the park was listed on RCDB, then I counted it as an amusement park. But if that park doesn't have a current operational roller coaster or the park is closed, I'll make a mention of it, but it won't make the official list. That being said, let's get into the entries. Tied for 10th place is Six Flags New England, which originally opened in 1870. This park originally opened as a picnic grove, and they added their first mechanical rides in the early 1900s. Henry R. Perkins purchased the park in 1911 and added the Giant Dip roller coaster the year after. From there, this park has continued to expand, and now being in the Six Flags chain, it's a mid-sized Six Flags park. You can debate whether Superman the Ride is the park's best attraction or not, but one thing you can't really debate is how much that that ride put Six Flags New England on the map. 1870 seems pretty old, but there are parks that opened a long time before. Now, another park that opened in 1870 that you might have heard of is Cedar Point. This park did not open as a picnic grove, however, it opened as a beach resort and has continued to stay as a beach resort to this day. Their first roller coaster was the Switchback Railway, which opened in 1892. Cedar Point is one of the biggest thrill destinations in the world in 2023. They currently boast 16 different roller coasters and soon to be 17 when Top Thrill 2 opens. Roller coasters are fun. In fact, roller coasters are really fun. But when you pair it with 150 years plus of history, it makes it even cooler. It is worth noting that Seven Islands Resort also opened in 1870, but it was only open for 40 years, closing in 1910. Also, Bellevue View Park, and I probably mispronounced that, opened in 1870, but it closed in 1980. Here are a few more non-eligible parks. West Point Park opened in 1867, but closed in 1987. As for Burnbeck Pier, they opened in 1867, but have been SBNO since 1994. Number 9 is Dreamland in the UK. This park originally opened in 1863, and it has a fascinating history. It originally started as a restaurant and a dance hall, their first ride being added in 1880. Then the park started to struggle financially later on, and this wasn't helped by the fact that Fort Park in Chessington provided better thrills in the UK. Eventually, the park sat SPO from 2007 to 2015, but it did reopen mainly because park fans raised awareness about this park's closure. To this day, the park's icon is still Scenic Railway, an attraction that originally opened in 1920. This doesn't look like the most extreme of coasters, but considering it opened over 100 years ago, that is easily forgivable. This looks like such a cool ride because of its history. Number 8 is Historic Haas Farms, originally opened in 1863. This is one that I considered removing, but from the criteria I said at the beginning, it technically qualifies. They have one roller coaster, that being an ENF Myler Kids coaster. Otherwise, they have some seasonal attractions in the fall, and I think it's kind of like a pumpkin patch type idea. But because it has an operational roller coaster and was listed on RCDB, it qualifies for this list. It's still open in 1863 nonetheless, which is pretty cool. Another honorable mention goes to Dandelion Park. This place originally opened in 1861, but it closed in 1977. Number 7 is Jardin d'Acclimatation, and I know I mispronounced that, so I apologize. This place originally opened in 1860. Originally, this was a place where plants and animals from other colonies could get used to France's climate, which is a super interesting beginning for an amusement park, but considering it goes all the way back to 1860, you get some of those interesting stories. Currently, the park has four roller coasters on offer, and that was soon to be five with a new addition coming in 2024. This park still has an emphasis on animals and beauty, but it's definitely more about the family rides nowadays. That being said, this is overshadowed by some of the other French parks like Disneyland Paris and Park Asterix, but I think it's probably worth a visit if you happen to be in Paris. Number 6 is Central Recreation Park in Kakistan. This park only has one operating roller coaster and it's a wacky worm, but since it originally opened in 1856, it qualifies for the list. When it comes to video footage or history, I couldn't really find any. Currently, it looks like a small family park from what I can tell. An honorable mention goes to Crystal Palace Park, which has been open since 1854 but has no operational roller coasters, their first and only coaster closing back in 1909. Number 5 is Haniashiki in Japan, originally opening in 1853. This park originally opened as a botanical garden. The word Haniashiki means a flowery residence or flowery mansion. The park only has one roller coaster, and that is none other than, well, Roller Coaster, which opened in 1953. 
This is the only reason I knew about this park before doing research for this video, and is definitely the icon for this park. Built by Togo, this coaster circles the entire park, going on top of, under, and through buildings. How this ride is fit in is impressive, and here's one more fact about Haneashiki before moving on. The park only takes up one city block. That's right, this entire park is only one city block, so obviously it's not very big. Time for more honorable mentions. First up is Bayville Adventure Park, which opened in 1853, but hasn't had a roller coaster operating since 2002. Then Williams Grove Amusement Park opened in 1850, but has been SBNO since 2006, which makes the second park in this video to be SBNO for over 15 years. Now, it's time for the oldest operating park in America, and that is Lake Compounds. This place opened in 1846, and the history is super strange and super random. The park was born out of a failed scientific experiment which involved explosives. This failed experiment drew crowds, and it inspired an amusement park out of it. Isn't that strange? The park's first coaster opened in 1914 in the Green Dragon. Unfortunately, the Great Depression severely impacted this park, but they made it out of it. And then here's one more interesting tidbit from this park's history. They opened a steam railroad, which was designed and built by William Gillette. And you know what William Gillette did? He portrayed Sherlock Holmes in silent films. I love the strangeness of this park's history, and we certainly don't see parks being born like that now in 2023. Currently, the park has five roller coasters on offer, dating from 1927 to 2016 as far as operational coasters are concerned. This is America's oldest operating park by a long shot. Moving on to number 3, we have Tivoli Gardens in Denmark, a place that originally opened in 1843. This park opened for the main purpose of, you guessed it, gardens. To this day though, it remains one of the most beautiful parks in the world, and they've maintained a lot of history over the years. The park's icon is the roller coaster Rutschebanen, which originally opened in 1914. This is one of those rare and awesome attractions that still operates with a brake man on board. When it comes to ride lineup in 2023, I don't think it probably stacks up to the other major parks in Denmark, considering the fact that they only have four roller coasters. But when it comes to beauty and history, this place is easily top dog. Overall, I definitely want to visit this park one day, and it's a unique park in comparison to what you're normally going to find at, say, a Six Flags or Cedar Fair Park. Black Gain Chain originally opened in 1843, but it doesn't have any operational roller coasters. As for a whole zoological gardens, that place closed in 1961. But it did open all the way back in 1840. Now, for number two, we have Wiener Prater, originally opening in 1766. After it was once an imperial hunting ground, this place was transitioned into a public leisure center. From there, restaurants, snack bars, bowling alleys, and all sorts of things popped up, eventually leading to the park that we have today, and Wiener Prater is essentially a permanent carnival. Because of the fact that roller coasters are constantly coming and going in this park, and the fact that they've been open for so long, this is one of the reasons why they have 29 defunct roller coasters in their history, which is pretty crazy. Hoshuban, and I know I mispronounced that, originally opened in 1950, and that is the park's most historic roller coaster. In comparison to Tivoli Gardens, Wiener Prater does not feel anywhere near as historic. It feels much more like a typical amusement park, but it is deceiving. This place goes all the way back to the 1700s. And of course, coming in at number one, we have none other than Bakken, a park that originally opened in 1583, which is just crazy to think about. The park originally opened as an attraction based around a natural spring. This spring was located in a forest park north of Copenhagen. This spring attracted a lot of people from Copenhagen, and because of the fact that many seemed to believe that it had some sort of curative properties, it became a tourist attraction and lots of people came to visit it, and that's how the amusement park originally popped up. By today's standards, Bakken isn't a big amusement park. The park only has five coasters, but they do have a historic one in Rutschebanen, which opened in 1932, not to be confused with the one in the same country at Tivoli Gardens. Rutschebanen looks like a pretty mild ride. On the other hand, Tornado is not. This spinning coaster opened in 2009, and with boost mode, it becomes one of the crazier spinning coasters on planet Earth. This park doesn't look super great now, but considering that it opened all the way back in 1583, it's awesome that you can still experience a place that goes back that far. You feel like you're stepping into history. So overall, Bakken is the world's oldest amusement park, and it's not close. But I want to hear from you guys. What were you surprised by on this list? And if you had the opportunity to visit one of these parks, I'd love to hear what your experience was like down in the comment section below. But until next time, thank you all for watching. I'll see you then.